Hi everyone, welcome to Embedder 369. In this tutorial, we will see how to include external library to your project. This is called component in expressive IDE. Now let's see how to include external library to your project. So for that I am just creating a new project. So I am going to use the template project. So that is SPFFS. So now the template project is created. So if you want to include the external library, it is called component in expressive ID. Expressive ID of component. So we have to just click that. So from my GitHub, I just include some external libraries. Is called file and links. I will just give this name for the my component. So the component is created. You can see it here. So dot h and dot c file is created. From the dot h file, you have to just copy paste this one dot h. The examples I have given. Dot c will just copy paste this source file. And in the main, you have to include the header file. So I have included the file and then in my main program. So now let's build it. So now my project is successfully built. You can see it now. There is no error. So whenever you work on SPFFS, make sure you make partition tables according to that. So if you want to know about how to make partition tables, I have already made one video about how to make how to create custom partition. You can just watch that video and come back here. It will be easy for you to understand. So these two are my libraries, external libraries. Those libraries I have included in component section. So this uh, template project they have given. So for this I have already created a one project to give you one demo. So if you go to my GitHub, here is the example. You can just open this particular example and copy this. And paste it, paste it to your main main project. Yeah, just copy paste it. So let's build it. This is my app main. So in this project, what I'm doing is I'm just writing a text file actually. So hello. There are five letters in it. Each letter will take one byte. So I'm just in the hello text file, I'm just writing hello. So then I'm just checking the size of how many letters I have written. So each size will represent size one. So if I just this project yeah so 
Yeah. So our code is successfully running inside the ASP32. So I'm just opening the file. I'm writing it. Hello. So it is showing size six. So there are five letters. So it is five only. So the, there is an extra letter is added because of this. Uh, we are using a library, right? So in this particular library, I'm using slash n. So this slash n will create a only extra extra space. That's why there is an extra uh, size is added. So actual size is five. If I just remove this one. If I just remove this one. It will be like five only. I can just show it here. So you can ch check it. Now the size is five. So how many letters I have written? So that much it is showing. Then I'm just printing whatever I have written. Just printing it down. So here it is printing the data from the line number one. So let's say if you want to print line number two, three, four. So for that, what we have to do? Like right now we are simply writing the file. So what if we do append file? Like I'm just using another function called append file. So using this append file, we can uh, like append the file, like letters, whatever we are writing it, so that we will see the previous data, whatever we have. I'm just on the project now. So you can see it. It is written hello, hello, hello three times. So line number one, line number two, line number three. So in all three lines, so there is a hello data. If I just write it to some other line, like uh, let's see what happens now. So you can check it, check it here. So for the first time, it is printing like my name twice because of the maybe the restarting ESP is restarting, restarting it twice by the dumping the code. So it will not happen like if I restart the ESP that you right now. So you can check it here. So there are line number six. So now line number seven came. I'm just simply restarting it. I'm not just loading the code. I'm just simply restarting it. You can check it. When I restart the code, so it will like write the each and every every single restart, it will simply write on new line. So if I simply load the code, it will write it twice. So that's the difference. So in this manner, you can check it. These are the previous data, and the last line will be the latest data, which is going to be written. So in this way, you can check it, the previous data also. So these lines are the previous data, which is already stored in the non volatile The latest data will be in the last line. There are many uh, libraries are there. You can just check it one by one. So we can read line by line also. The delete uh, particular line also. There are many things I have. This is, this I will leave it for you. Like you can just check it out, how it works. So I'm just storing it in a non volatile memory actually. So this is using this SPFFS, I'm just storing this text file in a non volatile memory. So using this, we can do like cool stuff like storing SID and password. So in future videos, I will make a video about these things, like how to store SID and password. So as of now, like this, this, this is a demonstration that how we can include the external library to your project. So from this video, you might have got idea about how to include external library to your project. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. See you on next tutorial. Have a nice day.